Well, it's here. This is kind of a tradition from what I've seen on other YouTube videos. Uh, what's called the unboxing. So this is the, uh, the Ultimaker 3D. It's a 3D printer. And after reading about these and following them online and that sort of thing for well over a year, I decided to take the plunge. And uh, went with a kit. So as we'll see when we open this up, uh, there's going to be a lot of parts. So uh, my coworker and I are going to tackle this. Uh, we'll do a little bit of painting first, but uh, here we go. So we got a nice little greeting from Ultimaker. And we have the PLA. So we have the, uh, the blue material that I ordered. And they include a free roll silver. So uh, for the R2D2 stuff that I do, hey, you know, it doesn't look very R2D2 blue, but hey, who knows, maybe. So there's that. And let's see. All kinds of stuff in here. And I am guessing that in this box here must be the uh, second extruder, which I bought as an option. I also bought the uh, Ulti controller, which is the onboard controller. And lots and lots and lots and lots of parts and pieces. Well, I'm really impressed. They do a really good job of labeling this all up. And hey, Milk, you gonna uh, help out? You've kind of been a dink lately. So anyway, there's that. Uh, hmm. Obviously, I have some reading to do because I have no idea what that is. This is the uh, power adapter, and this is the Ulti controller. So this is the part where. Um, when you make the CAD drawings where it will go to this controller it will be with an SD card and it will do all the work. So it will not have to be plugged into the computer and if you have a computer whose USB host likes to go in hibernation every now and then, that won't be much fun. Hey look, inventory. Autograph by Sander, Kooski, and Greet. Very American names. Uh, it's from the Netherlands. And uh, as you can see, we've got the bearing tank, got the cooling fan for the electronics, we have belts, we have pulleys because uh, it's belt driven with stepper motors, and uh, that's how it moves back and forth to do the drawing, um, drawing, printing rather. Uh, we also have uh, the uh, 3M painter's tape. And, oh look, even tools. Very nice. A couple of standoffs. And I imagine, under here, we have the associated hardware, the rods and the uh, threaded uh, rod, which uh, is kind of like an acne screw. Uh, that's how the platform rises and lowers. And we got the power adapter. We got the uh, not exactly the, I have it right here in front of me. This is the uh, wrapping cable. And we have the electronics. Most impressive. I'm really impressed how well it's packed and uh, how well it's made here. I ordered on a Friday and I got it on Thursday. So I'm impressed with the speed. Uh, let's see. We've done a nice job with the packing here. We got the plexiglass. Which is going to be the uh, obviously for the plate, and then we have all the uh, laser cut wood panels. Which uh, I'm going to paint these first. Uh, it's going to be kind of a diluted paint this way. We don't paint over all the essential markings, which obviously we'll need for putting this together. Um, I should say I'm not scared to put this together because I've built two R2D2s, but um, this is. Um, this is pretty intimidating. <laughs> I'm glad I have uh, talked my coworker into assisting me. He's very excited about this, and of course, my friend who has a CNC machine uh, that I've been using is pretty excited about this too. 
and these stepper motors are tiny. It's pretty sweet. So anyway, we have just unboxed a Ultimaker 3D uh, reprinter. This came over from the Netherlands, and let's put another bag in here, nice and organized. And uh, with Labor Day coming up uh, this Monday. I think I got myself a pretty sweet project. And we'll do a more detailed inventory a little bit later. Just want to kind of box this up again and keep everything under wraps because I have three very nosy cats. So anyway, there it is.